you doing something? <laughs> trying to get my headphones connected. <laughs> just suffering with the internet, that's all. All right, so Kelly's just trying to get her headphones connect, which is okay. Are they connecting? That's okay, I'll talk to you first. <laughs> we'll figure it out after. All right, so we had a few visits. Uh, well, we met each other a few, couple of times before this fight. Uh, you said you were upping your power, upping the cardio. You think you achieved that? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I've been in camp for 12 weeks, so I had the fight six weeks ago against uh, Chat Caitlin. So yeah, yeah. I was right back into camp. So you can only get better when you train that hard. Um, so your one of your main trainers was gone in Thailand for a bit. Yeah. How does that affect your training? Because you had the solo train, is it? No, I mean I've got great training partners. So. Yeah. I uh, I have numerous people to hold pads for me. Every one of the guys I train with is always more than willing to stay after class, get more with me. Most of them have good, strong karate backgrounds, so I was pretty selective to pick some of the guys that can mimic Teresa's movements with her Taekwondo background. So I think I actually had a bit of an advantage when Chris was gone to like train a little bit extra with some of those guys. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a really good matchup. Looking forward to it. But you, I, I think last time uh, Chris McMillan said his prediction was a knockout. Oh, that's, that's what he I said. I don't know if he said that. But <laughs> no, I think he no said pressure. that. <laughs> I mean, it's only prediction, right? <laughs> People predict the weather all day. And it's always, it's always if I'm going to get one, I hope it's, this, I hope it's tonight. So <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the hope for this fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mentally, how do you feel right now? Is it good? I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't think I get to... The nerves don't usually get me. Um, I feel good. I mean, I train hard. I know I put the work in, so I'm, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. well, last time we spoke, you said you're same weight class. You just have to cut nothing, actually. Um, uh, no, this one was at 120. This fight. Oh, five so pounds. Five, five pounds cut. Yeah, five pound cut. Which is okay. Um, right now at 120, do you feel weaker? No, because I cut the 120. I'm back to 128 right now. Oh, okay, I put up. the water back in. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Yeah, it's good. I feel I'm great at my. I feel better than ever right now. To be honest, I, yeah, once I, I did the water cut, lost the six, seven pounds I needed to, and then I just sweat out a pound. Weighed in yesterday, no problem. And then refueled and rehydrated properly. So. All right, good. Kelly's yeah. ready to go. Kelly, appreciate your time. I'm looking forward to your fight. So we'll catch you afterwards. We we'll get a post interview, okay? Can't wait. Anything you want to say before I go? You want to add? Thank you to my team for all your training. Um, your kids, I love them. Yes, your kids especially. Yeah. You're your foundation of support. Yes, <laughs> and part of my training camp <laughs> on a daily. <laughs> all right, Kelly. Catch you later, okay? Good luck. All right. So Teresa, yes. when, did you, when did you make it here? Yesterday? I Thursday? Yesterday. All right. I mean, it's only a few hours drive. There's no jet lag there. How do you feel today? Good. Oh, I'm ready for the fight. Yep. So you got your opponent, Kelly. Yes. She's, uh, she has a pretty good record. You got a pretty good record. It's going to be a pretty good matchup, I think. Yep. It's fun. Yeah. She's been working on power and cardio. You, what have you been working on? I mean, you're kind of... I, Uh, working with angles, um, yeah, just, you know, making, making people guess it. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. I think, um, I, I, I've spoken to them about this too. I think it's power versus speed in this one. Because I think she, uh, maybe she's a little bit stronger, but you have a lot of very good kicks and accuracy yep. in your hits. Yep. So it's going to be very fun for me to see this. And I, I've seen both of you guys quite a few times now. So for me, it's, it's more fun for me in that sense. Um, between your last fight and this fight, have you had any fights? No, no fights. Yeah. Have you been really just opening the gym? Uh, we opened, yeah, another gym. Yeah, so we uh, have a few in the Evanston area and we uh, opened a new one in Spruce Grove. Yep. So uh, it was kind of a big reno that kind of happened over a couple years at the partnership with the city of Spruce Grove. So we're pretty excited about it. Does opening a gym and being so busy affect your training? Um, no, I get to do it full time, so I really just get to do what I love all day long. Mm -hmm. So between the last fight and this fight, 
Yeah. Are you open the gym, being busy. What kind of training did you do to prepare for this fight? Um, actually, I worked on my clinch game because that's something uh, that's different from Taekwondo. We don't have clinch Taekwondo, and so um, I'm really blessed to have some really great uh, training partners in that area, and really just learned a little bit more of the technical aspect of the clinch. Yeah, the last fight you, when you're fighting Amelia, you did a lot of circling. Yes, I recall circling and a lot of side kicks and circling and side kicks and circling. Yeah, she had a, she had a lot of trouble getting to you. Yes. Um, and you're saying in this one, you're going to try to clinch now? Um, no, I just wanted to make sure that I knew how to clinch better. So uh, that was somewhere where I found, okay, this is new for me. Um, and so it's just adding it to my game. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're not trying anything like new, you're just trying to up your set. Yeah, you know, okay. more, more uh, weapons in my, in my back pocket. Mm -hmm. Was it a different weight last time? No, we were the same weight. Okay, cool. So, uh, you know, uh, on a daily basis. Can you give me a, give me a walk through on your diet, training regimen, things like that you do? Because people want to know these things. <laughs> yeah, um, well I usually get up pretty early and I try to hit the gym, do my run. Uh, I do a lot of interval work, work as far as cardio goes. I, I like to run, so that's uh, a big part of my training. And then a lot of yoga, hot yoga. Um, I do a lot of meditation, like headspace meditation. As far as diet, I just try to eat a lot of lean meats, fish, a lot of veggies, that kind of stuff. And then usually in the evening is when I do all my taekwondo and my like uh, winter weapon training. So pad work, sparring with my team, uh, the technical stuff. And then after that, I fill up and go and teach the kids. So that's part of my day. Very, very active. Okay. So I guess when you go for a run, what is that? Like five kilometers, ten kilometers? Um, like five to seven. So it kind of depends on tempo, depending on what I'm trying to do. So uh, sometimes I'll do like a long run, which is like a ten k, which is more of a, a brain dump, relaxing day. And then my uh, speed work is five to seven k. Mm -hmm. Cool. So um. Yeah. Did you research me at all before the fight? Uh, yeah, so I was able to kind of watch uh, at the, the Bellegarde event oh, yeah. and just kind of figure out what, uh, you know, what stance she likes to fight in and um, maybe some game plan behind that. We just studied that and uh, we kind of built a little bit of a game plan around that. Now, is there a prediction that you have in your head for the fight? Um, you know, it's always for me, these fights are all about just, uh, it's like a chess match, right? So a prediction is obviously red wins, but um, I'd love to be able to showcase my kicking ability. And so if that ends up being something that ends it early, great. If it's not, we'll dance right to me. Nice. It's becoming a, a trend again, right? It's like the like original UFC days when it was different styles versus each other. Yeah. I'm seeing karate versus Muay Thai fights now, things like that. Yeah. Would you be open to like Taekwondo versus a Muay Thai fight in the future? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I feel like what, what we kind of got going on here, obviously, learning a little bit more of the Muay Thai style, but I'm truly a, an ITF Taekwondo practitioner here, so uh, just kind of fit in. And I, and that clearly shows in the fighting style, which is fine. Yeah. I think it goes to the wall because they're not used to such precision in the kicks. Yes. I think I, that's what I believe. It. It's not going to take the shrink. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna, the show's going to start soon. I got to set up some more stuff. I'm going to run back and, and get a post interview with you guys and all that stuff afterwards, okay? Perfect. Thank you for your time.
goes on in my gym at West Texas. Kelly Kruger. All the contests and styles are always, it's always fun. The driver seems more kickboxing, uh, uh, more tired. <laughs> and one, man. Yeah, 
Let's one of these days. I'll do the video. You do the video the photos. I'll, I'll, I'll do that one day. I can certainly yeah. sign your hoodie. <laughs> Where do you want me to sign it? I'll write on the back. Anywhere? Yep. <laughs> I don't write in his ear. So I guess I gotta write Killer Kelly now. Hey, you get your crutches. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest Killer Kelly, is yeah, right. uh, five pounds. How did you do commentating? Did you survive? In the blue uh, corner. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. So. Storm <laughs> Team Savage <laughs> in Calgary. All right, Kelly. Well, you did it. Jerry Well, yeah. Defending against a sidekick. I, she was, awesome. Let's go, Jack. Thank you. Oh, like so so Thank you. So circling didn't work with you. Can you tell me why? I trained with a lot of people that mimic her. I was well aware of how she was gonna move and how she fights. And like I said, I come from a gym that has a karate section. Most of the guys that do Muay Thai came from karate as kids. I got years of experience. I have great training partners. So, that was wonderful. Great coaches, great training partners, great corner. <laughs> yeah, no. Scheduled awesome with the ice. <laughs> I was telling Chris a lot of the uh, the training footage that we had. Yeah. A lot of it came out. I saw it. Yeah. I mean, we worked a lot. Of, it kind of nice not have the music loud. I could hear Chris clear as day. Mm. Knew exactly what he wanted, so it was pretty easy to stay calm and hear him. And I think even if you didn't knock her out or TKO, it would have still been unanimous at that point. So that's good. Awesome. Great fight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie, Stephanie here helping with the shirt. Vaseline, everything like that. 